Hi, I'm Lyle from Gulfstream Boat Sales. We've got another little stock boat for sale here. It's a 2010 Waveline 3.3 meter rigid hull inflatable boat. It's fitted with a, a Yamaha 9.9 horsepower four stroke electric start engine. It's got a full remote control setup, centre console with a remote steering, throttle and shift, and um, turnkey start. Um, this is a beautiful little package. We just recently took it on a trade-in against a bigger boat, and um, I was really happy to get it in because it's a cracking little rib. I've sold a couple of these before. The Yamaha engine is a beautiful little uh, motor starting on the button, very reliable, very fuel efficient. <clears throat> this is a great, this boat would make a great tender or something just for messing around in at the beach with the kids. It's a great little boat to sort of teach kids the sort of basics of seamanship and having a, a boat and things. So this one is in lovely condition. It's two owners from you and we're going to take a wee walk around it now to show you what condition it's in um, and some of the features on the boat. So this is a, a proper little rib with a fiberglass hull. It's twin skinned hull as well. So you've got a nice little V profile to the bottom with a couple of little chains running down along it so it cuts through a wee bit of chop quite well. Um, you can see the condition of the bottom of this one is pristine. Um, it's not, obviously never been kept in the water or anything. Uh, there's not even any trailer damage on the hull at all. It's, it's like brand new. And then inside we've got a, a completely flat floor. So some of these entry level ribs have like a V-shaped floor. The benefit of this flat floor is that you can mount this, this steering console on it. So it's completely flat all the way front to back. And uh, easy to install. The steering console is a proper waveline steering console that comes with the boat. You've got room in front of that for your fuel tank to sit in there. And um, you've got uh, plenty of room up uh, either side of the console too for moving around the boat. So it's rated to carry five people, which is going to be a squeeze in this little boat. But um, it's really comfortable for like an adult and two or three kids. You get a couple adults on it, no problem. Um, you get a two-seater um, console, so two people can sit on the console and then you've got room on the tubes for, for others. Got this grab, rail, this grab rope running down along both the port and starboard side for hanging on if you are sitting on the tubes. And then we've got these handles which work as either carrying handles, so two people can carry this boat off the trailer, or um, again additional grab handles for whenever you're underway. The actual tubes themselves are nice chunky oversized units, so they're, they're 41 centimeters I think in diameter which is quite big for this size of rib and um, that means that it's a really stable boat and you could tip this boat over if you tried um, and even with you know if only one or two people in the boat you know both of you sitting on the tubes on one side it's not going to tip or anything so it feels nice and stable out in the water the reason i know so much about this little rib is because I, I used to have one myself and we used to use it for messing around in with the kids and uh, it's a cracking little boat i mean i used to go across the lock where we live it was I've, I've sort of done trips of a couple of miles in one of these wee boats um, out across open water and I was 100% fine. Um, you've also got a nice bit of chunky uh, fendering rail running all the way around the outside of the tubes. So if you're bringing it in alongside a cruiser or a pontoon or something, you're not going to damage the actual tubes themselves. This is a PVC tube boat. It's got three air chambers, the back chambers, the, the nose is one big chamber. Um, it's in perfect condition. We've had the boat inflated here for the last month or six weeks and it hasn't lost any air um, and it's uh, the whole boat as you'll see as we go around it here the whole boat's like brand new, it's pristine. Taking a look at the starboard side of the, of the rib, the tubes again on this side are perfect. There's very very minor scuffing on the uh, fender rail which is that's what it's there to do. Um, again we've got this grab rope down along this side. The boat comes with these integrated oars so you can, this really simple boat to row so if you run out of fuel or take the engine off it or whatever you can still use, row this boat quite comfortably um, and the, the oars stow quite neatly on the on top of the tubes. Um, again, you know condition wise it's perfect. There are a couple of little eyelets here on the forward quarters of the tubes so you can hook up like a little towing harness so if you want to tow it behind a cruiser you can hook this up to do that or you can use it for anchoring the, the dinghy but you've also got another um, d-ring inside the inside the bow there as well so it's a strong point so like if you were going to 
lift this boat with a set of davits on the back of a larger cruiser. You've got a two strong point there and two strong points at the back with D-rings complete so it's um, easy to lift the boat up with a, with a pair of davits to, uh, to crane the boat out of the water. So you've got this is a ring here and also there on the port side. Um, so it's a very versatile, well set up wee boat. The boat is fitted with a Yamaha 9.9 .9 horsepower four stroke engine which was supplied complete with the boat when it was new. Um, it's a beautiful little engine, it's in perfect condition, the paintwork's pristine, the propeller is unmarked, the skeg and everything looks great as well, um, and it's a really tidy wee installation. It's got the remote control kit, so it, it's uh, hooked up to the throttle shift lever on the side of the console. We've got a remote steering cable here, cable steering system. Um, Everything's working really well. The steering's nice and smooth. The throttle and shift controls are lovely and smooth as well. Um, and one of the best things about this little motor, apart from the fact that it's a Yamaha, so on you know unrivaled sort of reliability, really good reputation for building a cracking wee engine. Very fuel efficient because it's a four-stroke, and um, because it's electric start, um, it just makes this but a lot easier to use than sort of pole start engines, particularly for kids. I know whenever you're trying to teach small kids, like 10, 12 year olds, to handle a boat on their own, they sometimes lack the strength to pull over a manual start engine. So the fact this one's electric start makes it a breeze for kids to, to manage. The engine is in perfect working order. Taking a look onto the hood, it looks like brand new. Um, the boat, from talking to the previous owner, as far as we know, the, there's been two owners of this boat. Um, talking to the previous owner, he primarily used it in fresh water up around the lakes in Scotland. So it um, hasn't seen much in the way of salt water use. All the little uh, bolt heads and everything are completely unmarked. There's no corrosion, there's no signs of anybody being in there working, working at that engine. Apart from routine servicing, it uh, hasn't needed anything at all. There's, good, you know, there's tons of life in that. Uh, because this is a stock boat, we're selling it complete with a three month warranty as well. Um, so you've got complete peace of mind uh, for the coming season. So a few clues to the quality of the, the installation. You know, a lot of times you find with these wee ribs, sort of somebody's bought an engine or a second hand engine and they've bolted it on and they've maybe butchered something together to get their controls to work and they don't really give a whole lot of thought to it. And the battery's just thrown in, the fuel tank's just thrown in. This one has been professionally done because First of all, we've got a little pre-filter, a fuel filter on the uh, on the fuel line. So that's a wee uh, water separating fuel filter before the, uh, the petrol gets to the engine. That's really unusual on a wee rib like this. Um, so somebody that's, the fact somebody's gone to the trouble to install that says a lot. All the little fuel lines are all properly crimped. Proper Yamaha crimped fuel lines. It's not like somebody's just whacked them on with a Jubilee clip or anything. The fuel primer bulb is, is nice and pliable. We've got a proper little battery box here with a a securing strap to keep it in place and then the fuel tank itself lives up the front of the hull and there's a wee strap to hold that in position up there as well so it's a well set up little package and with the fuel tank at the front it helps balance the weight on, of the boat as well. This Waveline console that comes with the boat is a nice little unit it's well finished off, it's solidly built we've got this sturdy handrail it runs all the way down the port side of it so you can hang on and passengers can hold on to it and stuff as well Nicely sized steering wheel with um, the uh, steering cable set up there. The throttle and shift lever is well positioned here as well. The spacer plate to keep a good enough uh, gap here between the throttle lever and the side of the console. So you've nothing to worry about. We've got the fast idle control lever here, key start, and we've also got a little safety lanyard thing, which is really important on a wee boat like this. You always have to make sure you've got your uh, lanyard clipped on to you before you head away out on the boat. That's all working exactly as it should. Um, we've got the little builder's plate here, so the waveline builder's plate with hull number. Hull number on here shows that the, uh, the last two digits are 10, 10, which means it's a 2010 model. Um, production year 2009, but a 2010 model. It's rated to carry up to 15 horsepower, 11 kilowatt engine. Um, max engine weight 45 kilograms and personal capacity of five people. So one of the things that people are probably going to ask me about on this rib is the performance with this 9.9 .9 horsepower uh, outboard. Now whenever I had one of these, uh, I had a 15 horsepower engine on it and the performance was great. Uh, jumped up on the plane even with uh, 
two adults. I, the most people I had, I, I had two adults and two kids on it with 15 horsepower. It played perfectly. I was had a good long conversation with the owner of this boat that we traded it in from, and he tells me that with uh, with him, one adult plus I think there was three kids in the, in the boat, around about sort of I think there were maybe around about 10, 7 to 12 or something, the boat would get up on the plane and run quite well. It's probably perfect for like one adult, two kids. Um, the kids are going out on their own, they're going to get out the plane, no problem at all. I would say it, it would probably still play with, with two people in it as well. Um, and once it gets up on the plane, it'll run at, you know, sort of 15 to 20 miles an hour. I think you have a great bit of fun with it. Um, if you just want to use it for pottering to and from the shore and using it as a bit of a, a tender, It'll, it'll do that all day long. It'll run against strong currents and stuff like that because I mean, it's 10 horsepower. It doesn't take that much to move this boat through the water. Um, and it, uh, it's running great. What we are going to do is I'm going to pop it in the water and uh, take it for a wee run just to show you how it performs with, with one person on board. But it's a great little motor. You've got all the, the sort of the, the proven pedigree and reliability of a Yamaha. And even if you're going to buy that engine on its own nowadays with the electric start and the remote control kits, must be. I mean, I haven't looked in a, in a couple of years now at the prices, but the last time I looked, they were about two thousand to two and a half thousand pounds. So, I mean, for the the, the value on offer here, I think it's uh, I think it's great. The wee engine starts uh, first turn of the key. You just need to make sure it's in neutral because it's got a safety feature. So if it's in gear, it won't start. It's a, a great feature again if you're using this end, this boat with kids. Um, they can't uh, hurt themselves by inadvertently starting it in gear. Uh, so once it's out of gear, it's just a matter of turning the key. Starts right up, first, first go. Sits and idles, nice and steady, it's nice and quiet. Um, and it's, uh, it's just in really good condition.
A couple of other quick things to point out is we have a Yamaha motor lock on this engine. With uh, We've got two keys for that. We've got two, two sets of keys for everything. Um, so that's on here, stainless steel Yamaha outboard, top quality outboard lock. We've also got a self bailing um, deck, so any water finds its way in, goes drains down into the sweet sump and drains out over the, through that um, one-way valve. So there's a little non-return valve there on the back of the boat, so you can pull the bung out whenever the boat's on the plane, and any water that gets in there, if you know, you're swimming off the boat or whatever, um, that can run out whenever the boat's underway. So all neat wee features. We've got a nice little cushioned uh, seat on the, uh, the console here. And um, this lifts up, as I said, this will accommodate two people. Stainless steel catch, which is in perfect working order. And then this hinges forward to reveal a um, nice bit of storage underneath the console. Because you don't have any, like the battery or the fuel tank's not in there, so that it frees that space up for storing things like a wee anchor, a fender or two, or you know, just ropes and lines and things like that. The boat comes complete with this little in dispension roller coaster trailer. So um, again, a, a 2010 trailer sold new with the boat. We've got uh, four sets of rollers, crack a little trailer, there's a winch on the front of it, post there to tie off to, jockey wheel and everything, and um, the wheel bearings are great. The, the guy who we traded in from towed it all the way from uh, Scotland over to us, and it, it towed a dream, the wheel, so the wheel bearings are perfect, and you can easily transport that boat anywhere. It's, it's a breeze, I mean, you, you could literally lift this thing off and plunk it in the water, so you can tip it off that trailer anywhere at all. The fact it's rollers on it too means it's really simple to, to, uh, to launch and recover, and uh, everything's perfect. All the, all the rollers are there, they're all working well, There's, it's all galvanized steel, the jockey wheel works, the hitch works, the bearings are perfect, and it comes complete with a little tailboard and straps and stuff as well, so it's just the whole package is, is ready to go. So there you have it, that's our uh, 2010 Waveline 3.3 meter rib with the 9.9 .9 horsepower Yamaha electric start outboard. As I said, this is a stock boat, so we're selling it with a full three month warranty to start at the beginning of the 2016 season. So you can buy it with complete peace of mind. We're going to stand over the boat, the engine, the trailer, all the bits and pieces. Um, it's a cracking little boat, it's two owners from you, it's 2010, it, it, you can tell by looking at it, it's done very little um, and it's in beautiful condition. It comes with all the little bits and pieces that would have came whenever it was new, so we've got the little foot pump, the repair kit, um, as I said there's a tailboard, there's, there's trailer straps, two sets of keys, two keys for the outboard lock, literally everything you could need for a little boat like this. This is a great fun little thing to have, whether you keep it at a caravan, you know, near the, near the slipway, or if you're using it as a tender for a larger boat, it's got all the lifting points in there, so it's easy to you know, work. You can work it with davits and all that type of thing. And um, with the electric start, it's a breeze to use and a great little starter boat for for getting kids used to handling boats out on the water on their own. Um, as I said, I used to have one of these cracking wee rib, and uh, this one's in beautiful condition. And I was really pleased to get it with the roller coaster trailer and the Yamaha engine. I don't think you'll find uh, a better one out there. Uh, I think it represents great value for money at the asking price as well. And if you like the look of it, do you want to come and look at it? Or if you want to have a chat, chat with me about it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Give me a call or drop me an email or fill out the callback request form on this page of the website and I can contact you at a time as convenient. This is going to be a really simple book for us to transport to. So if you're looking at this uh, throughout the UK, Scotland, Wales, whatever, we can get you a very competitive uh, price to get it dropped over to you on a, on a lorry. So it's a straightforward, hassle-free purchase. Thanks very much for your interest and thank you for watching.